Hi, I'm Amy Cassandra Martinez with Red Carpet Report, and we're in Beverly Hills for Doris Bergman's 12th anniversary Valentine Romance Oscar Luxury Style Lounge and Party. Okay, so thinking back to all the times that you've seen the Oscars, what's a moment uh, that just stands out to you? You know, the Oscars in my house growing up, I, I grew up with an amazing single mom, and, and the Oscars was our like big weekend of the year. It was like our Super Bowl event, so... I mean, uh, I remember, I think, you know, in early age films that like really influenced me, like Rain Man, I think I was eight years old. So movies like that that were up, that won, um, I just, it, it, I, they're just, you know, memories that I really started to shape and mold kind of my love for the game, my love for the art, uh, and plant little seeds in my head, you know. Um, so I think, you know, when I started seeing the movies that I that really had, like when Thelma and Louise, both those actresses, amazing actresses, were nominated, things like that that really, um, were the first films that you know um, changed the way I looked at filmmaking as a child, uh, and yeah, I used to you know watching all those with my mom, and so the Oscars were a big weekend for us for sure, for sure. Um, now thinking back to 2019, what were some performances, some movies that you saw that you were like, wow, this is so good, whether oh they got nominated gosh. or not. Gosh, yeah, I mean, this movie, it's been a great year, but, uh, yeah. I mean, 1917 is hard to, to to not just be in full awe of. Yeah. I mean, what a, you know, what a feat. It was uh, such a just joy to walk away from going, holy cow, I can't believe I watched that. Um, and then, you know, then you watch a movie like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and just, like, end up giggling after every scene. And it's one of those <laughs> movies you want to, like, watch and then rewatch and rewatch because, yeah. you know, there's just little nuggets throughout the whole thing. Um, so, and then you see a, a movie like Parasite that just blows you away in a whole different kind of way, yes. you know, and then your, your head just sort of turns at every scene and goes, you know, and you're, you're, you're on a whole new yeah. journey as it, it, it unfolds. Um, so it was just a really, I thought, um, incredible year for film and all very different, um, you know, which was, which is, you know, which is what we all love about this crazy game that we're in. Yeah, completely. Um, what is some advice that you would like to give actors that are just starting out trying to make it in the industry worry about the craft don't worry about your headshots or your <laughs> color your resume paper or your your this that or the other thing worry about the craft spend your time in class get better as an actor make your toolbox as full as it possibly can be and um, and and just be prepared as you possibly can be for the time that that opportunity comes so yeah now, uh, fast forward to tomorrow. Yes. What are you doing Oscars night? You know, me and my family are just hanging, laying low. I'm in the middle of a, 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 a crazy film production right now where I'm shooting all night shoots. So oh, wow. uh, my schedule sort of flipped upside down. So tomorrow will be a day of studying for me and then enjoying, you know, snacks and the Oscars at night before I gear up and get back to work on Monday. That's awesome. So, yeah. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Good Cheers. luck. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what your favorite movie from 2019 was.